Hi everyone, welcome to How to Electronics. In this tutorial, we will learn how to use the Edgar's 32 MAX7219 dot matrix LED display with Arduino. Edgar's 32 LED matrix has 256 LED, which is arranged in the form of a matrix as 8 rows and 32 columns. Hence, it is named an 8 cross 32 dot matrix LED. Using the Parola and MAX72XX libraries, we can generate different rolling LED patterns such as numbers, alphabets, scrolling text, symbols, emojis, etc. Apart from this, we can also display some sensor data like DST22 on this display. Let's learn some examples in this video. Do you want professional PCBs like this one that looks so good then use the services of next PCB. You can select the board size and the solder mask color that you want including something like red and green. You can select the thickness and the PCB could be from 2 up to 32 layers for some more complex design. The finish quality is so good and if you want better connectivity, you could also select some gold finish for the pads. The ordering process is so easy. Just go to nextpcv.com then quit now. Insert your design setting, upload your cover files and order now. And receive the PCV in a couple of days. Let's see what we need for this project. We need an Arduino Uno board or DST22 sensor for temperature and humidity reading. This is a single edge cross ed LED matrix display without any driver. An edge cross 32 LED matrix is also available. We will use this in this project. This has a MAX7219 LED driver IC. They all are multiplex to each other. The matrix LED driver has 5 pins and works on SPI interface. Therefore, connect the clock, chip select, and then pins to digital pins 13, 10, and 11. The display requires a large amount of current. Hence, supply 5 to its VCC pin using an external power supply. Let's go through the basic coding now. First, we need to install a pair of libraries for this project. Go to the library manager and search by typing MAX72XX. Here, you will get multiple libraries. We need to install two libraries here. Install the MAX72XX library, then install the MD Parola library as well. So the library part is done now. This is the sample code that we will use in this demo. Generally, two types of hardware are available for this display. The hardware that we have is FC16SW. In this line, type any number, character, symbol or anything you want. I will like to display some scrolling text first. These are the only two changes we need in this code. Now you can upload this code. Let's see the demo now. Let's see another demo now. In this demo, we will use the DST22 sensor to display the temperature and humidity data. Here is the circuit diagram for it. Connect the output pin of DST22 to pin 6 of Arduino. Let's see this code now. We are using the same MAX72XX and Parola library. We have also added the DST22 sensor library. 
The method to display the temperature and humidity is formulated in the code. Upload this code now. After uploading, let's check the results. It is displaying the room temperature and humidity value. The scrolling effect is so good. To test is working, let's hit the center. So, there is a massive rise in temperature now and a drop in humidity value. This is how you can display any temperature and humidity data on this display. The complete project details, including device information, purchase link, source code and written guide can be followed in the How to Electronics website article. In case you have any other questions, you can comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.